man. Welcome to TDH Media No Sleep Edition, man. Got Triple D music in the building. What it do, baby? This what it do. Hey, y'all already know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, smoke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. Hey, yeah, we just leaving Big T shit. Nah, for This real. like my stack of home, though. Hey, shout out TTP. I like it over here, too, because I'm damn near the only head in the chicken coop over in this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> right at home. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm cool, but I don't just too much fuck with the legs like this. Already, already. So, what we working on, Triple D Music? Oh, my. We working. Yeah. That's important shit. On me. Everybody got their own shit going, and then we come together like little pieces of a puzzle. You know what I'm saying? We make a big ass picture. Yeah, yeah. like everybody, everybody really moving and, and moving at their own pace right now. One thing about our label is like we not signing niggas and putting a budget up on niggas and just yeah. We no 360 deals, huh? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we really just of artists who I already working, you know what I'm saying? So everybody owns their own everything. Everybody yeah. doing their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Right now we pushing uh Keezy's mixtape though, the Oak Cliff America oh. Volume One project. Yes sir. Yes sir. OCA Keezy. Make sure y'all get on there, man. And we actually uh. we, we getting ready to re-release that too. Yeah, so y'all be on the lookout, man. We're gonna redrop it so we can go and do it the right way. We can put it all the way in y'all face. You nah, know? for yeah. real. I don't want it to be on the table. Nah, I want it to be all the way in your face. Hey, so shit. Back about the back to school programs. How y'all feel, you know, working with the community? How do y'all feel that's important to y'all careers? So I see that coming up with the back to school right. and stuff like that. So for us, it's kind of twofold with that, right? So, like, um. We've been doing back to school events for probably about the last eight years now. Two. We used to, we used to be at Motown. Yeah. We were at Motown for seven, and we used to do it in the back. We get the bounce houses and the DJ, let the kids turn up and all that. Now we're at Big T. We've been there for two years. It's a little different ball game at Big T. So we'll be doing it this year over here at TTP with them and TDS. We're going to turn up for the kids, man. But we have kids, and we have to make sure that our kids understand that they got to pass the thing. It's like missing the next gen this generation, bro. Like, they don't have no guidance. They don't know nothing about the G code. They don't have standards. They don't give a damn about morals. You know what I'm saying? So our kids, we always say we like the Jackson. So like, our kids are talented. They all do some form of entertainment too. So we have to let them understand that if people are looking at you, they will mimic what you're doing. So if what you're doing is positive, they're gonna mimic that too. Wow. So our kids will be at the at the fair too. They'll be over here giving out backpacks too. They gotta put in their work like everybody else. Facts. Man, Get it. Re the reason it be so important to me too, man, is because I came up in these Dallas streets. I know how it is. I grew up without my dad there physically in the house, you know what I'm saying? So I know how it is when you're growing up with just your mama and all she want to do is protect her baby, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. But at the same time, you got to be able to get out there and function in these streets. So, you know, what I do is I try to show the kids, I bring the young ones, you'll see, I keep a lot of young ones around me because I'm trying to show them that you can be out here and be a hustler without going and get on no crash dummy shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that that's really what's important to me. So every year I try to do something to give back, man, because that that's just where I'm at with it. It ain't enough, like she say, passing back to the generation after you. You know what I'm saying? Because if we wanted to change how it is today, we gotta go change it with the motherfuckers that's coming up, not the ones that's already here. We stuck in our way. Facts. You know what I'm <laughs> nah, for real. Hey, do you feel like the city itself is stuck in some ways? Uh, this is what I feel about the city. The city is looking for a hero. And like at the end of the day, niggas is niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's up for grabs. Like we you know, I I, I see a whole lot of he ain't say my name. Oh. He, oh. he could have he could have hold me on the song. Hold on. Uh 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 damn fam, he act like he don't even fuck with me now. Uh, you know, but but yeah. it, like, High side that how, shit. How can I fuck with you when I'm over here fucking with what I got going on? Working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want yeah, me to yeah. go back to where I used to be not having nothing going on? Yeah. And yeah. fuck with you? Or do you want to see me go over here and prosper and do better? 
Or do you just don't want that for me if I don't bring you with me though? Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like which one is it? So like, yeah, I asked the other day. I was like, when when did Dallas get to the point? Where they feel like they needed somebody to vouch for them. We ain't never been that type <laughs> yeah, of city, fam. Nah. We never been that type of city, bro. We never needed a nigga to vouch for the next nigga. Even when we had DSR, every nigga knew who Tuck was. Every nigga knew who Tom was. Every nigga knew who Fat B. It wasn't just, oh, that's DSR, and then you don't know these niggas when they ain't together. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was their own nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. We got to get back to that, bro. Like we gotta quit waiting on the hand out or trying to ride this nigga way because you see him on the way up. Cause that nigga might fall out and it might be your time. He might need you. I be telling my boys we wave creator. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no wave rider. We wave creator. Yeah, that wave gonna yeah. fall eventually. Real talk, you gotta come with another wave. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep yeah. it going. Yeah. Real talk, I'm the moon to the earth. You know what I'm saying? Pulling them waves like and real talk. You, know, you got the city, the city sitting back like, ah, I thought he was gonna. I thought, I thought he. Hey. Man, boy, these Dallas niggas. But it's like, what y'all expect out of us, fam? We ain't never had shit. Yeah. So when one of us get some shit and get to the point to where we might want to think about doing something, y'all hating so motherfucking bad. <laughs> nigga, like, fuck you. <laughs> nigga, don't want to <laughs> fuck with you. You know what I mean? Why the go you hated on me? You know what I mean? Why the go y'all shooting at a nigga and shit? Like, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> I'm a whole ass nigga cause I don't wanna fuck with y'all now. Nah, for real though. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> that's some fucked up shit. And and the city just gotta realize, like, ain't gonna be no hero, friend. Yeah. Like, I just gonna have to rock with y'all city. And a nigga gonna rock with you, cause you rocked with him. But if a nigga make it work, he going and you didn't rock with him, he gonna be like, fuck you. Nah, real So time. until y'all break that cycle, these niggas ain't gonna break that cycle. It's nah. just simple and plain, my nigga. So what, would, so what would y'all tell the up and coming artists that's coming up, you know what I'm saying? And they just, you know, trying to find their place in the game then as far as, you know, the cycles and breaking the cycles. I'm tell you something. The young artists that's up and coming here that's really on their shit, you know what I'm saying? As far as really putting in this work and really shooting these videos and really got the back end, they paperwork right and all that shit. They chilling. I ain't doing they cool with each other. Big cool. These little niggas is doing numbers and making money, my nigga. They is not tripping. Nah, like for real. You not know tripping. What I'm so it's really the older ones. Yeah. Really. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the younger ones, they problem is I'm gonna do me and fuck what anybody else got to say about it. Yeah. So that's why the older generation is a little offended about that because we feel like, but now nigga, you supposed to listen to me. Nah, because for I'm real. Because that's what we was taught. Yeah, we on me. Talk, be quiet, on me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But what they saw through that in us is they see how Facts. fucked up the elders really are. Facts. We fucked up. But you gonna me. keep it real, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to tell one of them little niggas how they should do it when you've never been successful at doing it yourself. Ooh, preach. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Bro, hold on. Rewind. Rewind. Hold on. Because you get that so much in the black community. Bro. And I don't know about the other ones because I'm black. You know what I'm talking about? I, I don't know. Real. But in the black community, you get that I, a I'm lot. I'm going to use this an example. Same. I'm going to use this an example. You never had a successful relationship. Why should I listen to you about how to have a successful relationship? You've never had a successful business venture why would i listen to you about that yeah you know what i'm saying yeah you ain't never hit no stage of bet awards so how the fuck i'm gonna listen to you about how i'm supposed to get there mm -hmm. come on i can't preach preach mm -hmm. preach right? nobody in dallas have ever really gotten there except for a few people right you got post malone erica badu the rope and yellow each one of they paths to get through was completely different, bro. Completely. It's not no blueprint for this shit. Yeah, forget about the deal. You got to find your. Oh, well, yeah. Lil Will, what about Lil Will? He, 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 he get an award at the third. He just made it to perform, though. Lil Will. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. He I'm made just, it to I'm, perform on stage, okay. didn't Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so it's just like, you got to find your own path. You can't look at the next nigga. Even if he try to help you get thorough. Yeah. You still got to be able to hold it's, your own way to pull your own yeah, way to shit be, though, bro. Yeah, yeah it's going to be different regardless. What you going to do after the help? 
Yeah. Since that what you crying so bad for. That, that's why we try to tell people they want to work all you the time. You, you got to have something to bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Bring something to the table. What you got? This is what I got. Exactly. This is what we going to do. You it know takes, what I'm saying? It takes all them legs on that table to hold that motherfucker up, bro. Oof. But this, this is my advice. If, if you out there and you really, really, really working and you really, really serious about this shit, but leave Dallas. Oh, yeah, you got you. I dare you. I'm daring you to leave I your city and go make yourself known where they don't know you already. Right. You cannot sell Dallas, Dallas, bro. Because at the end of the day, somebody going to say, I didn't listen to I would tell them in school with that name. Nah, okay. real talk. So, you know, you just got to expect that. As long as you keep on, like, like they say, the, the insanity is... Doing the same thing twice, thinking you're going to get a different act. Ooh, nah, you know real talk. Real you, talk. You, you got to get out of here, man. That that was part of my problem. That's the reason why my shit just not taking off, because I'm just not moving. I'm just not traveling. Yeah. The internet allowed me to be in places without actually being there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that exit during my era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was straight out the trunk. So yeah. So it was like. We made it from here to East Texas, nigga. That's about it. We hood, nigga. That's yeah. all the money we got, nigga. We ain't finna go to Cali and Atlanta with that shit. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. just trying to... And back then, you getting $10 a CD hand to hand. So, like, we making... We make, me and Simo made $27,000 off of the Stash Gorillas project. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn. In, in 2003. That's 2,700 CDs. Damn, boy. That's 2,700 CDs we sold. Earned that whole way. On that project. You know Shit. what I'm saying? So, on me. Earned that bitch up. Y'all was like that, But that was just here to East Texas. Yeah. And, you know, the, the game was good then because you had uh, Michael Watts. You know what I'm saying? Doing the switch high shit. So all them niggas was dropping off in wholesale. And us being up on the high C and Diamond D, we was already plugged with the wholesale stores. Plug. So now we putting our shit off in there right with they shit. Got to, got to. You know what I'm so saying? So we, we was getting out. But, you know, now nowadays the shit is totally different. So a nigga really had to fall back and study the game and learn. Got to study. Yeah. Got to study. Now this is the result of... What I did, you know what I'm saying, to reinvent myself. I created a label, and now I got artists such as OCA Keezy, Mundo Brown. <laughs> Y'all be on the lookout for Ducky P. He turning up doing his shit. So, you know, it's just a lot of shit we got going, man. And we trying to lead by example. You got to. It's the only way to lead. Because you can stand and talk to you blue in the face. Niggas ain't trying to They see what you're looking like. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying so, to see what you done did too, yeah. shit. Yeah. Real talk. They so, they hear you talking, so but they want see, they gonna go look. Yeah. Be like, yeah, okay, that's what yeah. it's doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just all I'm trying to do. It's triple D music because it's all about the city. Yeah. You know, it's just my label and who I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? It's all about everybody. All about everybody. Yeah, man. I ain't tripping. I'm fucking with everything Dallas, bro. Hey, turn up, go ahead and get y'all social medias. Man. On my social media, they be lurking and making fake pages and all that. Nah, I didn't shit. hear I don't me. Them on Facebook, uh, all that shit. But on Facebook and IG, it's Team Armani Rose. Everywhere, Cardi, City Girls, I'm I'm thorough. Yeah, the Spotify's and the YouTube's and shit, I'm thorough. Armani Rose, Triple D Music. Hey, hey. Bush and Mr. Oak Cliff on everything. At Mr. Oak Cliff on Instagram. Y'all go click on this shit. Hey, they got any Triple D pages? Oh, we got too many. Triple D ones. music pages, where they at? Triple D music, M U Z I K. On all platforms. All platforms. M U Z I K. M U Z I K. D I A. Please spell it right.